Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store. And today I'd like to talk about the Acrotec leveling base in combination with the Acrotec panorama head. This is the Acrotec leveling base. The one I have uses a 3 8 thread which fits on the tripod. And you can see right here is the bubble level. It's basically a little ball head. As you can see it move around. So I'm gonna do is just attach it to the tripod. And what you want to do is just level the bubble right in here first. So now this is set. Because a lot of times when you set up your tripod, it's not on level ground, so it's not going to be quite straight. So this way you've got the head leveled. The Aquatec panorama head has a 3 8 thread, so I could put it right on here. And if you notice carefully here, there's degrees. There's a little uh, piece that you can move to sort of zero it out for doing your panoramas. There's also a bubble level in there, and you can move this this way or this way depending on what kind of uh, release you have. So let me just put it on the tripod. Okay. Let me just get it set. So now what I can do is I can get this set at the zero. And I actually use this as a, uh, regular tripod head is instead of a ball head because to me it reminds me of a uh, let me turn it the other way of the Reese tripod because you can move in you can move left and right and you can move up and down just like the Reese so I thought of think of it as a two-way ball head the Acrotec panorama head takes Arca Swiss style plates I have one on here and just I'll put it in place tighten it up so basically any camera you want to use any digital camera Right here, I just have a Leica V-Lux 4. If I want to pan this way a little bit and I want to use it at the 600 millimeter setting, it's perfect. So it's nice and solid for that. If I want to go up and down a little bit, I just use this and I can set it at any angle I want. There's a zero angle right here. Now that it's got all your degrees here, so you can set it at zero. So this way you've got it zero at the, for your panorama or just for panning left and right. Next, I'll show you with a view camera. Here I've got a lightweight 4x5 with a Acrotec Arca Swiss plate that attaches. So we'll just put this on the cam on the base here. Oh, okay, I'm a little off. And again, you could pan left and right once you get your composition set up. And one thing I've always thought about, if a lot of people now are doing a hybrid where you're actually shooting film and scanning, there's no reason you can't do a panorama with a view camera. In other words, you could take a picture. And one of the nice things about here with the angles, you can see how many degrees you need depending on your lens. You could take a picture, move it over, and I'm going to show you that in more detail. So you could actually take a panorama with sheet film. What I would recommend is setting up your camera for a vertical. Take a picture, take another one, take another one, take another one. There's no reason you can't use a large format camera for panorama if you're doing the hybrid. The head is ready to accept Arca Swiss style plates going this way like I had the camera attached before for panoramas, but if you want to do actual panoramas with a, a nodal rail, you have to flip this 90 degrees to accept the nodal rail this way. So let's just loosen this up. And then we flip this, locks in place, and you, this red right here, we screw this down. So now it's set to accept plates going this way. Got a camera attached on the nodal rail. I want to turn it around so you can see the zero. You see the zero right here. And depending on the lens you have, if you want to take a panorama, just a, a row, you can take the first picture at zero. Let's say it's 15 degrees. Move it 15 degrees, take another picture. Move it to 30, take another picture. Move it to 45, and on and on, whatever you want to do. So it's got this little marker here to start you. And if you want to do rows, You've got detents, not detents, but you've got markers here for degrees. So let's say, depending on your lens, you go down maybe 15 degrees. You could start a row. And this way, you can always start at zero because of this little movable marker here. You go 0, 15, 30. And let's say you want to go a little higher or a little lower, depending on your lens. You start again at zero, do another row. And you can go up. 
so you could do a multi-row panorama. And you notice there's locks on both sides. And the degree marks are on both sides, it doesn't matter. So again, you want to set this where it's at zero. And you can do another panorama that way. Let's set it back to zero. If you go to the Acrotech website, Scott has a good video on how to use the nodal rail and how to set this appropriate distance depending on your lens. So this is the head I use for all my photography. I use this for the view camera. For, it's great for four by fives. If you want to do a digital camera, it's great. If you want to do panoramas, it's terrific. So this, I use the, even though it's a panorama head, I use it as an all purpose head for myself. Um, it, when I tried it, when I borrowed the Leica S2, that was it for me. I was hooked on this head. So this is my favorite tripod head. And um, if you have questions, just send me an email. And thank you for watching.